At the end of the first season of Has Been Hotel, we get a glimpse of Lilith lounging on a beach in heaven. Here we see her wearing a necklace with a gem. Now, people have pointed out that in all the family portraits, she had been wearing pearls, and now she ditched the pearls for this necklace. Honestly, I didn't think too much about it. I very like the symbolism was that traditionally you would give somebody pearls once they were married. Now that she and Lucifer were separated, why the fuck would she need wedding pearls? But after looking into the history of Lilith, I think there's more significance behind this necklace. In Jewish folklore, we hear the origin story of Adam and Lilith as told in the first episode. What wasn't included was that God had sent three angels to retrieve Lilith back to Adam. Lilith refused to go back to him, even when the angels threatened to kill 100 of her children for disobedience. Since the angels decided to kill her children, she would take the lives of newborn children, though she has agreed not to kill the children whose mothers had them wear amulets with the names of one of the three angels. While I doubt that we'll be seeing the angels that were mentioned in her origin story, I do think there is an angel's name written on that amulet so that no one could harm her while she was in heaven. The question is, who is protecting Lilith? First suspect in this case is her husband, Lucifer. While we have absolutely no idea how Lilith managed to get into heaven, it's not unlikely that Lucifer pulled a few strings he did get Charlie a meeting with the Seraphim. Now, it is said that Lilith took over as ruler of hell, but Lucifer just didn't really seem to care that much, and he obviously had no respect for sinners, until after the battle with heaven. I think a big part of him feels guilty for dragging Lilith along down to hell with him, even though that was the choice of heaven and now lives for himself. And because Vipsy Pop says that the two are just still madly in love with each other, that he was willing to let Lilith go into heaven just to make her happy. I mean, it's highly unlikely that he doesn't know where his wife currently is. I think if either Lilith or Charlie went missing, he would go total ape shit. I think he'd try to burn the gates of heaven just to get them back. However, because Lucifer fell, this may lower his protection powers. Maybe. I don't know how this shit works. Now on to our next suspect. Adam. Again in Jewish folklore, Lilith went back to the garden to be with Adam again, but saw that he was already with another woman. And this is where things get a little troubling. Apparently she had waited until he had fallen asleep and um, stolen his seed. While I don't think the show is gonna go in that direction, I can see it being possible that Lilith regrets her life choices, marrying Lucifer, becoming queen of hell, having zero control over the exterminations. So she went back to Adam, and that was the deal that they made for her to stay in heaven in exchange for his hand in marriage once again. Our next suspect probably won't make sense if you haven't seen my video on St. Michael. But long story short, I think Alistair is Michael because go watch the fucking video. Anyway, fans have speculated that Lilith owns Alistair's soul because they both been gone for seven years. While we don't know where Alistair's been all this time, Cecil comments on a rumor about Alistair falling into holy arms. Does anybody think that he was in prison for seven years? Possibly limbo. With Alistair already being so powerful the minute that he entered hell, he's been wiping out overlords left and right to a point where the living overlords begin to lose their power because all the souls that they have collected over the years have been gone. And that doesn't help with the yearly exterminations, killing off sinners one by one. It's quite possible that Lilith had something to do with his capture. And if he is Michael, she could have used that to her advantage, having his name written on an amulet and staying in heaven for seven years. As to how he was released, I don't know. <laughs> Since he was an angel, possible he wasn't in limbo, but some sort of angelic prison. Just somewhere where he can't do shit. Okay, next suspect on our list is Sarah. Now, I'm not really sure what she would have to gain from Lilith being in heaven, other than the fact that the angels have finally fulfilled their duty into getting Lilith to come back to Adam. Also, in Welcome to Heaven, for absolutely no reason at all, she tells Charlie that she can't stay in heaven. Yeah, I don't think anybody expected her to actually live in heaven, but I think part of her was scared that Charlie might wander off and accidentally bump into her mother. Also, I highly doubt that Emily's aware of this. I mean, it wasn't until the court scene that she was even aware of the exterminations. And you know, Sarah is no stranger when it comes to corruption. Who knows what else she's hiding from everyone. The last suspect on our list... I laughed just thinking about it. Peter. Now, I'm gonna give you a little background on St. Peter. He was an apostle of Jesus. Now, in the Bible, Peter denies Jesus in front of a whole crowd. The denial being that he knew Jesus. So when with the other apostles, he was kind of a douche, especially towards Mary Magdalene. In Thomas, he actually said that women are not worthy of life. To which Jesus said, I myself shall lead her in order to make her male, so that she too may become a living spirit resembling you males. For every woman who will make herself male will enter the kingdom of heaven. And towards the end of Jesus' life, Peter became the leader of the apostles. 
and was handed the keys of heaven. All this stuff just makes me think that he's very fickle. And I don't think it would have taken much for Lilith to force him to make him an amulet with his name on it. Also, this is a big stretch, but there's a saying that Peter is the rock, meaning the rock where Jesus' church was built. And these two rocks, they represent Peter's faith. And this saying, Thou art Petros, and upon this Petra I will build my church. The first rock, Petros, is a small rock representing Peter. The second one, Petra, is a massive boulder and a representation of either Jesus or Peter's confession of faith. And, you know, gems are rocks. I tried. I'm gonna let you guys decide amongst yourselves which angel is protecting Lilith for now. That's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, ring that bell, and I will ring it right back to you. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say. Woo! I want it that way. way. Oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot about that part.